In this quick tutorial, we'll just take a review of a, a number of things from a lot of tutorials at once. So you should be pretty familiar with most of my tutorials, my 2.63a tutorials, 2.6, Python, whatever it might be. Maybe not necessarily the Python in this case. But so what this is, it's a couple things I can tell right off the bat. If you look down here, if this is an obvious, um, these are all individual keyframes that are set. So that tells me immediately that I set up this animation within the game engine. And then when within the game engine, I must have been recording the keyframes right there. So record animation. So when you record, when you run the animation within the game engine, then it uh, then it records the keyframes for you. All right. So then you can come back into Blender Render and you have them accessible then. And the power of doing that is that then you can use the physics effects or the particle effects within Blender and time them. To your animations that you created within the game engine, all right, because they're distinct engines. The soft bodies within Blender Render are not the same as soft bodies within uh, the Blender game engine. Someday they might all get tied together. But what now? Let's run this animation. Let's see what it does. All right, and see maybe you recognize what else is in the scene. So this is mostly caused by the within the uh, game engine itself except the camera is tracking this object within blender render all right so i didn't do i know the camera didn't do that within the game engine and there's another thing this large cube down here if you see it watch it comes through the ball hits it and it swings it out of the way and then comes back and it hits it there and so that's going to be a rigid body joint so if we go back and look up at blender game and we should go over here to the joints and their rigid body joint is set for that and so there's got to be a pivot let's see where the pivot is there's the pivot set right there in the scene let me press delete we'll just or del so there's the pivot sitting up above the cube like that what gets it in motion is the ball hitting it all right and then but what makes the animation work in this sense i don't really need a really elaborate uh illustrated scene to enjoy it i just like simple animation motions mostly so but the just having the camera what I don't know I just lost the camera <laughs> what I do well, it must not be in camera view okay there we go but when you have the camera tied looking to a particular object that's what really keeps everything moving fast within the scene because you might imagine that if the camera was just focused right at the uh, plane it did not move around there'd be a lot less activity going on all right, so that's really a useful trick. And then let's see what else is in here. Everything else is probably pretty straightforward. I do have rotation and location keyframes set, but those must have been, yeah, those were set within the game engine as well. And everything else was, let's see, the sphere is going to be a uh, rigid body. Or it's, you know, let's see, we'll go back into the game engine on that, take a look at the physics on that and it's a rigid body so it has the ability to interact with the scene like that so notice uh, that's static see that's part of the game engine so when you go into the uh, blender render notice there's no collision set for the plane and there's no collision set for that plane because that collision is taking place within the game engine and then I've brought I brought it into the blender render and continue the rest of the animations in there. All right, so this is just this was just a quick little review, and maybe you learned something, maybe maybe something. <laughs> anyway, all right, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.